What's happening guys? Cold you Black Ops Kid here coming at you with an awesome video. Today, um, we have some information about Call of Duty Vanguard. A lot of information, actually. So sit back and, and, and enjoy the video. We're going to have a lot of uh, very interesting concepts and some pre-order bonus information, that kind of thing. So, um, one of the things is you they are having Mastercraft bundles already. And I do believe this is going to be an Xbox Series X, S, and playstation 5 exclusive there's a oh there it is a cross-gen bundle i am very apologetic there is an xbox one xbox series s xbox x and ps4 ps5 that's already been confirmed within this screenshot i'm seeing here also there has been confirmed zombies information from uh, vanguard it's 100 called cold duty vanguard it's definitely set in world war ii or around world war ii we it kind of is giving me the Battlefield 5 vibes, which a lot of the screenshots that I have seen, which I cannot post, but I will leave uh, things to descriptions to some of the content material, um, is giving me World War uh, as Battlefield 5 vibes for sure. I mean, Battlefield are kind of already won this year, I think, anyways. But anyways, besides the point. So basically, they've um, showed that. Um, they also basically we have a confirmation on the Warzone integration, which is August nineteenth, which is going to be the reveal for Vanguard. Apparently, uh, as we know, um, it's going to be inside the Warzone event, just like Black Ops Cold War was announced. A new map will be arriving when Vanguard is released. And we will also have some more information on that coming soon. So just stay tuned. Subscribe if you have not already, by the way. That really helps out the channel a lot. It's actually going to be something that is like Black Ops Cold War. They bring all the weapons over into Warzone. How is there going to be a five weapon attachment system on World War II weapons? We've seen a couple of attachment systems within World War II for a couple years ago, Call of Duty. But to add five weapons onto five attachments onto a weapon would be kind of pointless especially to bring those weapons into warzone would kind of just lose the flavor of of warzone no one really would use the world the vanguard weapons unless they were extremely broken like mp40 was a three-shot gun or something um but th of course that's the thing is you see only a couple of weapons within these leaked screenshots with specific weapons and they have a pre-order bonus all lined up I'm going to try and explain it to you the best I can without actually showing you because it's going to get taken down. So the Ultimate Edition, also there's three operators with um, some attachments. The Soul Storm, I can't even read these, they're so small. The Frontline's Weapon Pack, essentially. And um, you get three operators, Lucas, Paul Paulina, and Wade as well as a night raid mastercraft and 10 free tier skips as well as access to the open beta as well as double xp stuff like that and there is some sort of like zombie logo that hasn't been 100 percent confirmed but from a lot of my sources have told me that uh that black ops or treyarch will be continuing the zombie storyline within the next game because there's going to be a year two of content for uh, Cold War and um, for year two for Cold War. Because they've talked about that the last perk is going to be the 10th perk, which we've already known as Death Perception, which kind of is an ass perk in my personal opinion. But we already know that the 10th and last perk will be um, coming to Cold War. And then they said that there's going to be a fourth survival based map but did not specifically specify it is going to be the last round based zombies map so they're also going back and adding some other things in there but this is going to be mainly a vanguard video i'm not going to go into that much uh detail on that stuff so basically like with that stuff it's kind of uh vanguard seems to be in that kind of a weird spot where a lot of the games are sticking with more traditional slash um you know world war you know uh, much after the World War II in the in the sixties and eighties, and, and uh, modern warfare obviously being in the modern era, and then you have a World War II shooter. 
I think that this game is not going to produce as very well as what we've experienced because World War II is one of the not successful games in the Call of Duty franchise, in my at least in my personal opinion. I didn't play it very much. But like I said, um, the zombies is pretty fun. I did, didn't mind the, the zombies, but like I said, they're already adding Master Crafts. They already know what you're getting at. But I guess there is going to be um, a supposed anti-cheat within Warzone coming this next season before Vanguard comes out. And Vanguard is supposed to be coming out around November, just like Black Ops Cold War and games in the past. So I'm kind of curious whether or not this is actually going to be a real thing or not. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But like I said, there's a lot of kind of good things. I always say it every year. I'm not going to buy the new Call of Duty until I know because Cold War bit me in the ass so hard. I didn't really play the game very much. I've been playing it a lot more now because Warzone is almost unplayable. But um, right now, it's it's to the point where, uh, yeah, I just can't really play Warzone. And I've already discussed that uh, from previous videos where I'm just not going to play it. I'm gonna play the first couple days in Season 5 and kind of go from there. But right now, it's it's to the point where... I can't really play the game, and uh, Vanguard seems to be something where we're not going to have a whole lot of information. We'll have some more gameplay trailers. They're going to try and get us to buy it, and I, I really hope that considering that they got an extra year, that maybe it's a little bit better than than uh, than Cold War in terms of content. Apparently, there's 24 maps at launch with dynamic weather resolutions and stuff like that. Whether or not I can actually believe that, I'm not 100% sure because Cold War, I was imagining having more maps at launch and there was no maps at launch. And the Zombies was like, there's got to be at least two. There was only one. It, the next map came out the next season two, and then we didn't get another map till season five. So, I mean, that's uh, that's not good. Halfway through season five, sorry. Or season four. Uh, what season are we on? Season five. Um, so yeah, we're halfway through season four before we got our next base survival base map, which was almost six months after Firebase Z, which I think Firebase Z was okay at best. It wasn't anything great, but, um, yeah, so I guess that's where I'm going to leave this video off. Vanguard is, is a real thing. I've had the video taken down already before. Um, so it is a hundred percent confirmed in all these screenshots as well. Um, which last year I had the same thing happen with my video where I was talking about the Black Ops Cold War um, information and I had actual gameplay. That video has been taken down. It was taken down by Activision. This one is also taken down by Activision. So it is almost 100% confirmed that this is legit. It is called Call of Duty Vanguard. It is um, everything that we said it's going to be. And uh, hopefully all the information is true, because if that's the case, Treyarch's making the zombies. So far, zombies have been pretty good, um, but I would like a different take on zombies or maybe more perks with a, more emphasis on a better story and better Easter eggs. Mauer is a little bit better with the Easter egg department. The Wonder Weapon was amazing, but um, anyways, this isn't a review of that map, <laughs> so... Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. really appreciate you guys um, watching the video. I appreciate it a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm going for it. I see him. Go ahead and kill him. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>